Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. So we have a reporter who's one of them folks, and she has some questions for the president of Uganda, Yueri Museveni, about his signing of the LGBTQ plus community bill. Take a look. Many in the international community are saying that by your signing of this bill, you're taking Uganda a step backwards, that you are not protecting the freedoms and the rights and the choices of the Ugandan people. So how do you respond to that? And specifically, uh, President Obama has said he, been, his, he was deeply disappointed by Uganda's move and says that it would complicate U.S.-Uganda relations. Does it worry you, and have you spoken directly to President Obama about this? We have been disappointed for a long time by the conduct of the West, the way you conduct yourselves there. But we just keep quiet. We never comment because it's not our country. Maybe you like it. So uh, since there is now an attempt at social imperialism to, to impose social values of, of one group on our society, uh, then our disappointment is now exacerbated because we, we, are, we are sorry to see that you live the way you live. Now you say we must also live like us. We, 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 that's why we say no. Am I worried? Not at all. We should be worried about what? If the West doesn't want to work with us because of homosexuals, then uh, we, we have enough space here to live by ourselves and do business with other people. I absolutely love his response. He said, we've been disappointed with you people for a long time, yet we mind our own business. We don't trouble you. We're not telling you how to live your life in your country. So why are you coming in here trying to tell us how to live our lives and what stances we should take? She also mentions that by signing the bill, Uganda has taken a step backward. Uh, I absolutely disagree. They are taking a step forward. And then she says, and this is the thing that always kills me, they love to tout the black person. So she mentions Barack Obama and that he said he's disappointed. So the black person is disappointed. So what? We're supposed to be like, oh no, Barack Obama, the, the first black president in the United States says he's disappointed. Well, okay, since he's so disappointed, we may as well go ahead and reverse the signing of this bill. Just like they sent Kamala Harris to Africa, who is supposed to be black. I actually uh, refer to her as white adjacent, but nevertheless, she's considered black. So then they send the sister over to Africa. Oh, don't worry. She's like, I got this. Let me go talk to my people and see if they won't just, you know, fall in line. Well, that didn't work either. So this president is saying, you know what? You don't want to do business with us? We're not worried here. We're good over here. We're going to go ahead and keep our business in-house or we'll do business with other countries. Bye. Been saying it and more and more and more of the African leaders need to do the same and just not accept it. You know, they want to keep coming to the continent of Africa and they want to keep on bringing this up and telling us what they're not going to do for us if we do not fall in line with it. But really and truly, if you keep coming back and trying to convince us, I think you're the one that needs us more. It is you 
that needs to do business with us and needs our natural resources and all of the beautiful, vast riches that the continent has to offer. But you want it on your terms. And we are saying, no, you're just, you're not going to get what you want. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, also share this content. Also download the African Diaspora News app. You can grab it at the Google or Apple store or head over to africandiasporanews.org and download it there. You'll have access to content you won't see here or anywhere else. Wonderful content. So you want to grab that app. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.